Okay, hey, I'm going to show you how I make some fried rice with shrimp and scallops. I've got shrimp and scallops here, garlic, salt, pepper, some frozen vegetables, soy sauce, sesame oil. I cut up some carrots, uh, garlic, onion, and I have two beaten eggs right here. I'm going to put a little salt, pepper, and garlic in the seafood bowl and put that back in the refrigerator and let it marinate until I'm ready for it. And I'm gonna put a little oil in a fry pan and we're gonna get rolling. Stay with me. Okay, so let's get rolling. I just started by putting a little bit of butter in the pan with some vegetable oil. And I'm gonna start cooking the shrimp and the scallops. And I cut some of the scallops in half. I cut some of the shrimp down the middle. I'm just gonna get these partially cooked and then I'm gonna pull them from the pan and leave them in the bowl until we're ready for them after. I don't wanna overcook them. So this is what I'm gonna do until they look opaque. Okay, so this is what it looks like when they are almost done. I'm gonna set them aside. Okay, so I just cleaned out the pan after I took the seafood out. I'm gonna add a little bit more vegetable oil to it and we're gonna get the egg going. Like I said, I have two beaten eggs here. Get that pan hot. And let's add it. So we're just going to cook this. And I'm not going to cook it completely done either. I'm just going to get it cooked a little bit through. Because at the end, everything is going to be back in the pan. I don't want anything to be overcooked. So this is how I'm gonna do it. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm gonna start doing the carrots, onion, and garlic. I just put a tiny bit of oil in the pan and a little tiny knob of butter. Let me turn it down, it seems a little bit hot. So I'm on a medium high heat. And let me drop those in. And I'm just gonna let these Sweat a little bit, and then I'm gonna put the rice in. And <laughs> it's funny, apparently I forgot to tell you about the rice that I'm using, but I have like almost three cups of rice that I had previously cooked, and I put it in this bowl and put it in the refrigerator to cool it down, because you don't want wet, you know, like really overcooked rice. So this is how I've done it. So we're gonna do the vegetables here for a minute or two. And these are raw carrots, you know, raw onion and raw garlic. I'm gonna let them go for a minute and I'll come back and show you where to put the rice down. Okay, so this has been going for uh, about two minutes. And now I'm going to drop the rice in and let's fry that up a little bit, right? Okay, like I said, it's cold. And this, it's, like, it's only like two and a half to three cups of rice. It's not that much. But that's because I'm just one person and I'm probably gonna have a ton of leftovers after this. So I'm gonna let this fry for a few minutes. I'm gonna go like two or three minutes and just continuously stir. And I have this on a medium high heat, okay? So this is what I'm gonna do until this rice starts to look like it's frying a bit. Okay, so I'm going to add in, this is the little bit of frozen vegetables that I have defrosted. I'm gonna drop those in right now and let that stir around. Cause I'm, I'm actually still frying the rice. And I have, I set a timer for three minutes and I have been frying this rice for about a minute and a half before I drop these vegetables. So I'm gonna let it go for another eh, two minutes like this. And then we'll come back and uh, bring in the soy sauce, the sesame sauce, and uh, the eggs in the seafood. Okay, you guys, I have been frying this rice with the vegetables for like three or four minutes. So now 
I'm gonna put in a quarter of a cup of soy sauce. Okay, and a little bit of sesame oil. And the sesame oil that I have that I have, it's a spicy, so in a little goes a long way. That I might have just put more in there than I should have. It seriously, a little goes a long way. I always use the spicy one though because I just love the flavor of it. So let's get this all mixed together. And now I'm gonna bring back the shrimp and the scallops. And look at all the garlic. Oh my God, look at that. And the egg. Okay, and that's, we're just gonna bring everything back up the temperature. We're gonna be done. So let's just get this all incorporated together. Yeah, I, you know, I didn't use a lot of rice, but like I said, it's, it's just me, but oh my goodness, look at all the seafood in here. The scallops and the shrimp. Oh my gosh. So this is all I'm gonna do. Mix it around. I don't think I need to add anything more. You know, you could kind of, kind of eyeball it and see if maybe you need a little more soy. You might need a little more, more soy sauce. There's a little dribble left in that quarter cup there. Um, I think I might add just a splash more soy sauce. Just a splash. And like I said, that is just a personal preference. You do you. You do whatever you think you should do. So I'm just going to bring this up to temperature and I'll come back and show you the end result. Okay, guys, I think that this looks absolutely beautiful. Oh, I wish you could smell this. I so wish you could smell this. Let me take a taste. Look at, there's a scallop right there. Oh. Oh, my God. I have to turn this off. This is my take on seafood fried rice. And, you know, I think it's really a really good thing. It's really good. Try it. Thanks for watching. Tybee time.